Now to the newest surge in COVID cases. Governor Baker has now activated the National Guard to help hospitals who are short-staffed. And he announced a statewide mask advisory. Now new at six, lawmakers tell WBZ's Louisa Moeller they believe those actions don't go far enough. First ambulance on a recorded line. What is the address of your emergency? The life-saving work of transporting patients to the hospital is under strain from the pandemic. Historically, a cycle time for us might be, you know, 30 to 45 minutes from grabbing a patient to dropping them off to getting back in service. We're now see, seeing our cycle times double. Brewster Ambulance Chief Clinical Officer Chris DeBona says his EMTs are driving longer to find hospital space as the state's healthcare system faces a critical staffing shortage and 500 fewer beds in the middle of a coronavirus surge. There's no question the next few weeks will be enormously difficult for our health care community. That's why There's Governor Charlie Baker announced, announced the activation of up to 500 members of the National Guard starting Monday to assist with non-clinical needs like transporting patients around hospitals and delivering food trays. <laughs> they will also help ambulance companies like Brewster drive patients. And we'll run them through some training where they learn how to be a first responder, learn how to operate the vehicle, operate the stretcher, safely care for patients, and really be an assist to an EMT. To free up space, the Gov is directing hospitals to postpone or cancel non-elective inpatient procedures starting December 27th, an action that Tufts Medical Center already took weeks ago as new patients surged into the system. And the Department of Public Health issued a new indoor mask advisory for the entire state. I think it's a great idea, yeah. especially with the new strain coming along. But some lawmakers and health professionals say the measures don't go far enough, calling on Baker to reinstitute an indoor mask mandate right away. The governor's persistent refusal to follow CDC guidance on mask wearing and failure to provide a data driven blueprint to keep our residents safe puts all of us, families and businesses alike, at risk. Congresswoman Ayanna Presley sent a letter to Governor Baker urging him to revisit an indoor mask mandate. She called it a critical part to any comprehensive statewide plan. In Weymouth, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.